Have you ever wondered why a simple graph can often explain a concept better than a thousand words? That's the magic of visualization, a powerful tool that can turn a complex, bewildering array of data into a clear, understandable narrative. In our modern world, we're inundated with more information than ever, but numbers, facts and figures, no matter how accurate, can be dry and difficult to comprehend. That's where data visualization comes in. It takes this raw, often overwhelming data and transforms it into a visual format, like a chart, graph or map. Suddenly, patterns and correlations that might have gone unnoticed in a spreadsheet become clear. Trends that were hidden become visible. The incomprehensible becomes comprehensible. Imagine trying to navigate a busy city without a map, or trying to assemble a complex piece of furniture without instructions. That's what it's like trying to understand raw data without visualization. But with the right visuals, you can see the whole picture at a glance. But it's not just about making data more understandable. Effective data visualization is a powerful decision-making tool. In the business world, it can help identify market trends, track KPIs, and monitor progress towards goals. In healthcare, it can reveal patterns and trends in patient symptoms, aiding in diagnosis and treatment. In education, it can help educators understand student performance and tailor their teaching methods accordingly. In essence, data visualization is a bridge between raw data and human understanding. It allows us to see the story that the data is telling us and make decisions based on that story. It's like turning on a light in a dark room, revealing what was always there but hidden from view. But the question remains, how do we create these illuminating visuals? How do we turn raw data into a story that everyone can understand and make decisions based on? Visualizing data not only simplifies understanding but also empowers decision making. So, how do we create effective visualizations? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the art and science of data visualization. Before diving into visualization, understanding your data is the first step. Imagine you're an explorer, standing on the edge of a vast and unknown terrain. Your data is that terrain ripe with potential discoveries. But to chart a course and navigate successfully, you need to understand the landscape in front of you. The same principle applies to data. Understanding your data is like understanding the rules of a new game. It's about familiarizing yourself with the playing field, the tools at hand, and the strategies that can lead to victory. In the context of data, this means knowing what type of data you have, its structure, and the kind of story it can tell. Let's start with the type of data. Broadly, data can be categorical or numerical. Categorical data, as the name suggests, involves categories like the different flavors of ice cream at your local parlor. On the other hand, numerical data is all about numbers, such as the population of a city or the height of the tallest buildings in the world. Next, we have the structure of the data. This could be a simple table with rows and columns, a complex network of interconnected points, or a time series charting changes over time. Understanding the structure is crucial because it directly influences the choice of visualization technique. Finally, what story does your data tell? Data isn't just a collection of numbers or categories, it's a narrative waiting to be unveiled. It could be a tale of growth, a story of change, or a saga of competition. Identifying this narrative helps in framing your visualization and making it compelling. Knowing your data isn't just about recognizing the pieces on the board, it's about understanding how they can move, interact and influence the game. It's about seeing the potential stories hidden in the numbers and categories waiting to be discovered and shared. Knowing your data sets the stage for effective visualization. Next, we explore the tools at our disposal. Armed with an understanding of your data, you're now ready to select the right tools. The world of data visualization is vast and varied with tools designed to suit a spectrum of needs, complexities and skill levels. Let's start with the simpler ones. Excel and Google Sheets, for instance, are household names. Excel, a stalwart in data manipulation, offers a solid foundation in data visualization. It's easy to use, widely accessible and familiar to many. Google Sheets, on the other hand, is cloud-based allowing seamless collaboration and sharing. 
Both offer a range of basic charts and graphs, making them suitable for straightforward data visualization tasks. But when you need to dive deeper into your data, more advanced tools come into play. Tableau, for example, is a powerhouse in data visualization. Its drag-and-drop interface enables intricate visualizations without requiring coding skills. It's particularly adept at handling large and complex datasets, offering interactive and real-time insights. However, its richness in features might be overwhelming for beginners. Then there's Power BI, a Microsoft product. It integrates well with other Microsoft tools and boasts robust data modeling capabilities. Its dashboards and reports are interactive and customizable, but it may require a learning curve, especially for those unfamiliar with the Microsoft ecosystem. There are many other tools out there, each with their strengths and weaknesses. Python and R libraries offer immense flexibility and power, but demand coding skills. D3, JS is perfect for web-based visualizations, but requires a firm grasp of JavaScript. And the list goes on. The key is to identify your needs and capabilities. Are you working with a small data set or a big one? Do you need real-time insights? Is collaboration important? Do you have coding skills or would you prefer a drag and drop interface? The answers to these questions will guide you towards the right tool. Finding the right tool is crucial for creating compelling visuals. But what makes a visualization effective? Let's explore that next. Like any form of communication, data visualization follows certain principles. It's not just about turning numbers into pretty graphs. It's about telling a story, sharing insights and making complex data understandable. Let's delve into the principles of effective data visualization. Clarity, accuracy, simplicity, and relevance. Picture this. You're presented with a graph full of vibrant colors, fancy 3D effects, and intricate designs. It's stunning, isn't it? But can you quickly tell what the graph is about? If the answer is no, then it lacks clarity. Clarity is the first principle of effective data visualization. It's about making sure your audience can easily understand what you're trying to communicate. Think of a line graph showing the increase in global temperatures over the past century. You don't need a legend or a lengthy explanation. The trend is clear and easy to understand. Then we have accuracy, which is all about representing data truthfully. Distorting data to make it fit a certain narrative is a big no-no in data visualization. Let's say we're looking at a bar graph showing the percentage of people who prefer cats over dogs in different countries. If the y-axis doesn't start at zero, it might exaggerate the differences between countries, creating a misleading impression. Always ensure your visuals accurately represent the data you have. Next, we move on to simplicity. This principle is about stripping away all the unnecessary elements that don't add value to your data story. A pie chart showing the market share of different smartphone brands doesn't need fancy 3D effects or a background image of a smartphone. It just needs simple, distinct colors for each brand and clear labels. Remember, less is often more in data visualization. Last but not least, we have relevance. This principle is about tailoring your visualization to your specific audience and objectives. Imagine you're presenting a chart on annual rainfall to a group of farmers. They're not interested in the scientific details of how rainfall is measured. They want to know when to expect rain so they can plan their farming activities. In this case, a simple line graph showing rainfall by month would be more relevant than a complex scatter plot of rainfall versus temperature. These four principles, clarity, accuracy, simplicity, and relevance, are the cornerstones of effective data visualization. They're not just guidelines, they're the keys to unlocking the true power of data. They help us transform raw, complex data into meaningful insights that anyone can understand. Take a moment to think about these principles. Consider how they can shape your approach to data visualization. Keep them in mind as you design your visuals and you'll be well on your way to creating compelling data stories. These principles guide us in creating visuals that communicate effectively. Let's put these principles into practice. Now it's time to create a data visualization from scratch. Let's imagine we have a simple data set, a list of 100 fictional cities and their respective populations. 
Our objective is to create a visualization that clearly communicates the population distribution across these cities. First, we must understand our data. We need to identify the variables in our dataset, which are the city names and their corresponding populations. We also need to consider the range and distribution of the population numbers. Are there a few densely populated cities, or is the population evenly spread out? This understanding will guide our choice of visualization type. After we have comprehended our data, we move on to selecting the right tool for creating our visualization. There are several excellent tools out there, each with its unique strengths. Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets are great for creating simple charts and graphs. Tableau and Power BI offer more advanced and interactive visualizations, while programming languages like R and Python provide the most flexibility for custom visualizations. For our example, let's use Tableau, a tool that strikes a good balance between simplicity and functionality. We import our dataset into Tableau and start exploring different chart types. A bar chart could work well for our data as it clearly shows the quantity for each city. However, a map visualization might be more effective if we want to show geographical distribution. Next, we apply the principles of effective data visualization. We want our chart to be clear, concise and compelling. To achieve clarity, we ensure that the chart is easy to read and understand. We label our axes properly and provide a title that succinctly describes what the chart is about. To keep it concise, we avoid adding unnecessary elements that might clutter the visualization. Making the chart compelling involves a bit of creativity. We could use color to highlight the cities with the highest populations. Or we could add an interactive element, allowing the viewer to hover over a bar to see the exact population number. Remember, the goal is to engage the viewer and help them gain insights from the data. Once we've designed our chart, it's time to review and refine. We step back and look at our visualization from the viewer's perspective. Is the message clear? Is there anything confusing or distracting? We tweak and adjust as necessary, always striving for simplicity and clarity. Lastly, we share our visualization. We can export it as an image or a PDF, embed it in a report or a presentation, or publish it online for others to interact with. But remember, the process doesn't end here. Feedback is a crucial part of data visualization. We listen to our viewers' comments and questions and use their input to improve our chart. And there you have it, a simple yet effective data visualization. But how do we know if it's good? Creating a visualization is one thing, knowing it's effective is another. Let's delve into the intriguing world of evaluating data visualizations. At the heart of any evaluation is the question, does this visualization do what it was designed to do? The answer isn't always simple. It requires a keen understanding of your objectives, your audience and the data you're working with. Let's start with audience feedback. This is a direct line to understanding how well your visualization is performing. Are your viewers understanding the message? Are they engaging with the data in the way you intended? If not, it's time to go back to the drawing board. Remember, effective visualizations communicate complex data simply and intuitively. Next, we must consider the clarity of the message. A good data visualization tells a story. It takes the viewer on a journey through the data, highlighting key points and trends along the way. If your story is muddled or your points are not clear, your visualization may not be as effective as it could be. Ask yourself, what story am I trying to tell? Does my visualization make that story clear? Another critical element in evaluating your data visualization is the accuracy of representation. This is about ensuring that your visualization accurately reflects the data it's built upon. Misrepresentations can lead to misunderstandings, and that's the last thing we want. So check and double check your data and make sure your visualization is a true reflection of it. In the end, evaluating your data visualization is about more than just checking boxes. It's about ensuring that your visualization serves its purpose, whether that's to inform, persuade, or simply engage your audience. So, keep these factors in mind. Audience feedback, clarity of message, and accuracy of representation. They will guide you in unveiling the true effectiveness of your data visualization. 
Evaluating your visualization ensures it serves its purpose effectively. We've covered a lot today, so let's quickly recap. We started with the power of visualization, underscoring its role in transforming abstract data into tangible insights. We then delved into understanding your data, appreciating its nuances and complexities. We moved on to tools for data visualization, highlighting the importance of selecting the right instrument for your data story. Next, we explored the principles of effective data visualization, where we emphasized clarity, accuracy, and simplicity. Then we walked you through a step-by-step -step process of creating a compelling data visualization. And finally, we touched on evaluating your visualization, reinforcing the need for critical self-review and iterative improvement. Each of these elements combines to create a compelling narrative, transforming raw data into a story that captivates, informs, and influences. Remember, effective data visualization is more than just pretty pictures. It's about telling a story that influences decisions and actions. So go out there and tell your data story.